Plastics are everywhere. Plastics shape our world in countless ways. Plastics allow our dreams to become reality. As a raw material, plastic has no shape. Its shape is created by mold makers, people working with their hands, their minds, and the very latest technologies. What excites me about this industry is seeing different parts and knowing that I had a role in making it. What excites me about my field is every day it's something different and it feels like I'm making a difference. This industry excites me because every day is unique. My favorite part about my job is the technology I get to work with and that it allows me to turn my ideas into reality. I'm Deslin Hart, a high school student. After being introduced to plastics through our school's manufacturing program, I wanted to know more. I'd like to share how plastic gets its shape and introduce you to some of the people who make it happen. There are a variety of processes for shaping plastic. Today, we're looking at injection molding. Plastic pellets are melted and squeezed into a mold. The parts may simply drop out or be picked up by a robot for additional operations. Mold making opportunities pay well, often without a degree or college debt. Teams of mold makers around the country are creating new products today to shape a better tomorrow. Let's meet some of them. I'm the newest member of a team working to shape the world. My name is Danielle O'Connor. I work at Westminster Tool in Plainfield, Connecticut, and I'm an EDM apprentice. As an EDM apprentice, I write programs, set up parts, and run my programs. I'm here because I enjoy learning. At the technical high school I attended, I had the opportunity to learn the basics of manufacturing on a milling machine, a lathe, and CNC programming. I like this field because there's endless possibilities of where I can end up. I started here cleaning off parts and now I'm on the floor actually making them. I chose mold making because it challenges me and I get to do something different every day. I'm Paxton, I'm an apprentice at MSI Mold Builders. I've learned various roles through the shop, but I'm currently running the gun drill. Gun drills are very long drills used for drilling water lines for cooling and molds. In high school, I took one class called Computer Integrated Manufacturing. It had to do with the basics of machining and automation, and it really sparked my interest into manufacturing. My name is Zane Henley, and I'm a mold designer at MSI. As a designer, I take a part model that the customer gives us and put it into a computerized model of the mold that the guys on the shop floor will make out of steel. I design all the parts that go into the mold and how all the parts are going to fit together and move together. My name is Derek Char, and I'm an injection mold designer with Moldcraft. As a designer, when a customer has a new part that they'd like to produce, I design the mold that lets that part become a reality. The thing I love about my job is even though I'm not an artist, I get to be creative in how I design my molds. To design a mold, I use 3D modeling software on the computer to assemble a wide variety of different parts as they would be assembled in real life. When I'm finished with my design, I hand it off to the project manager. My name is Derek Maxim, and as a project engineer with Commercial Tool, I am the main point of contact through the mold build process. One of the most exciting things about this industry and one of the main points of why I took my job here when I was going through college was the technology within CNC machining. It's very, very high tech. It's very well paid career. It was one thing that I knew I wanted to be a part of. We get to manufacture products off of molds and tooling that were built with skill and craftsmanship. My name is Craig. I'm a project manager with Superior Tooling. I develop our build schedule to coordinate between our team and the customer. Once the design is finalized, the job is released to the shop and I order the materials for the mold build. My name is Jason Taylor. I'm here at Westminster Tool in Plainfield, Connecticut. I'm a CNC machinist and programmer. I program the machines that cut shapes out of carbon and steel. I use CAM software 
to develop a process for machining. Once I've written and verified my program, it's sent to the machinists on the shop floor to be set up and cut. I'm Ray. I'm a programmer here at Commercial Tool and Die. I create the programs to cut the shape into the steel. I start with a model like this from our design department. Our software creates a tool path, like connect the dots. It's a bunch of little dots, and that each dot is where the cutter is placed on the steel. And the end result is a precision cut piece of steel. My programs then go to the machinist, who set up the steel and the mold components. Hi, I'm Alex. I'm a CNC machinist at Commercial Tool and Die. The thing that is most rewarding about my job is I know when I'm done machining something, I'm the person that actually created it. Next, we load the program. Some of my programs will run for a few minutes, some will run for hours. The accuracy of the parts we cut is less than the thickness of a human hair. As a machinist, one of my core responsibilities is to always measure and double check my work. Not all sharp angles and contours can be cut. These must go to the EDM department. I'm Eddie Kim, a CNC machinist here at Superior Tooling. In my role here, I set up tools to cut carbon electrodes for the EDM department. The first thing I do is I take the raw graphite, I cut it to the size we need, and then I mount it in the holder. I put the electrode blanks on the carousel of the robot that loads the machine. After that, I set up the tools that'll cut the electrode. Now we run the program to cut the blank to the shape we need. These finished electrodes are inspected and then moved along to the EDM department. My name is Brett Smith and I'm an EDM operator at Superior Tooling. EDM is using electrical current to cut shapes that normally cannot be machined. Wire EDM precisely cuts steel using a wire that's approximately three times the width of a human hair. I'm Adam Gangle, I'm an EDM specialist at Moldcraft. EDM uses electrical current to erode complicated shapes. The sinker EDM uses an electrode cut in the inverse of the desired shape to erode that shape in the part. After part is finished, it is then transferred onto the mold makers for assembly. All these different people and machines come together to create one mold. You really get a sense of pride and accomplishment once a mold all comes together and you see the finished part. My name is Derek Hubel. I'm a mold maker at Moldcraft. There's a lot more to mold making than just assembly. All the parts that go into a mold are extremely precise. I often find myself having to adjust these parts for a correct fit. Some of the parts our molds create are life critical for the medical industry and mission critical for the aerospace industry. I'm Jason Kaiser, I'm a mold maker and I work at MSI. As a mold maker, I assemble and repair injection molds and I am the last step before it gets to the customer. Once the mold is completed, we take it to the press to check the function and performance of the mold. My name is Kevin Fields, I'm a sample technician and I work here at CG Plastics. As a sample technician, I create the molded part. My role is to set the mold into the molding press and hook up the water lines for cooling. Then I melt these plastic pellets and inject them into the mold. Once I fill the mold with plastic, I cool it so the part will hold its shape. Once the part is cooled, I open the mold and have the finished part. Once I have the finished part, I make sure it meets customer standards. My name is Debbie Freely, and I am a project manager and master molder here at Westminster Tool in Plainfield, Connecticut. So a molding press is a machine that holds the two halves of the molds together with hundreds of tons of force. I establish and document the setup and operation of the mold to make sure that we get repeatable results every time. What excites me about my job is I get to come to work every day with people who are as excited about making things and making a difference in the world as I am. I like machining because every day is something new. This industry really excites me because of the vast variety of things that you get to do in a shop. As the industry evolves, there are endless opportunities for me. I love seeing a finished product after months of hard work. This industry gives me the ability to create anything that I want to. All of the jobs you have seen involve varying skills and expertise. They all create solutions and are valuable members of a team who are excited to work on new projects while learning new skills and techniques. 
The apprentices you met earlier is where I started in the industry as well. I began at the age of 19 pursuing a degree in engineering while I took a part-time job in plastics. I have not worked a day since because I was lucky enough to land in this rewarding career. If you have a curiosity of how things are made and want to be part of something special, come join me to help shape the world of tomorrow in plastics.